Hi, and welcome back to another episode on How to Hack. So today we'll be discussing about wireless access points where we can perform man-in-the-middle attack to do de-authentication and then to gain client devices access into the rope access point. And then from there you federate as the man-in-the-middle attack and you'll be able to gain all the different data packets, all the different authentication, all the different authorization and the packet transmission across the network from internet to the access point and then to the client devices. So we're gonna use this tool called the Wi-Fi Pineapple, which I have uh, right here. So the Wi-Fi Pineapple actually allow you access into many different access point and wireless attacks. So the wireless access point Pineapple actually provide you the baseline attack for Wi-Fi auditing purposes. So what it does is it can capture SSID in the environment, it will be able to gain the client devices for reconnaissance. You'll be able to inject packets, frames, redirection of the landing pages every time the client device was to access into the rogue access point. So this is one of the very powerful tool that you can use in order to have control uh, over the wireless attacks. And at the same time, we will need a couple of internet connection, either wireless or through wired, so that you can then be able to share the, the tethering of the internet accesses so that the rogue access point is able to gain access into the client devices. So let's begin the tutorial. So over here, I have logged in into the Pineapple access point, which is going to 172.16.42.1 and the port number of 1471, which is running on the application server. So over here, you can see the runtime of one hour and 35 minutes. Uh, there's been zero clients connected existingly. And there are five SSID pools that we have created to, to mimic the access points in the wireless environment within this particular area. So a couple of in important things for us to note is we actually have two wireless adapter running. So one is Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi is a wireless adapter that's connected to Pineapple, if you see on the bottom right side. And wireless network connection is a direct connection to my home internet. And the internet accesses has to be shared so that you'll be able to provision or share the internet access to Pineapple so that whoever is accessing into your Pine access point will not feel like there is a lack of internet connection and they'll be able to inject normally so that you can save down those usernames and passwords. So you go into the uh, important note that we have to perform on the setup section is to go into the change adapter options of network so over here, you can see I have a couple of uh, network connections available and I have uh, VMware running in my environment as well. And of course I have Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi, as I mentioned earlier, is the one connected to the Pineapple access point. And wireless network connection is the one connected to the actual internet accesses that I have in my home network. So once you have this connected, you go under sharing and you have to enter allow internet connection sharing and of course the internet connection sharing will be with Wi-Fi. So you click OK on this and then under Wi-Fi, of course you will be able to tether into the wireless network connection. So going back to the homepage of Pineapple AP, once you have internet accesses, you can actually click load bulletins from Wi-Fi pineapple.com. And over here you can see the new developments, the changes to the firmware or to some of the different notifications in regard to Pineapple Wi-Fi accesses. So as a start, the primary assesses or the primary attack is what we call the reconnaissance phase. So under the reconnaissance phase, we can scan for existing wireless devices in the environment, both access points and client devices. So what you got to do is you click 30 seconds, a minute, 10 minutes, depending on the access point set up in the, in the wireless environment in your area, in your region, you can actually click start scan. So what it's going to do now is going to look for the different kind of wireless packets that are being transmitted in the environment, load them like a packet sniffer, and at the same time probe for all these access points in the environment for those traffic that are returning back to the access point. So a lot of this, a lot of this authentication methods are actually being published in Azure 2.11. So you can actually look up on it, and there are many different technical terms and specifications in regards to wireless network. So I use a similar tool to uh, Wi-Fi Pineapple about uh, nine years back using OpenWRT. So we got the scan result back uh, over 30 seconds. So you can see all the different MAC addresses running in the environment. 
And not only that, what's really key is that we actually have a, a my home network, which is Singtel 105F. And within this, we get the MAC address as well as the MAC addresses of all the client devices that are connected to Singtel 105F. So this makes the authentication attack particularly useful because we can actually take over control of the next three machines that we see over here. So moving forward, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Pi Access Point. So under Pi Access Point, on the right side, you have the SSID pool. So in the SSID pool, these are all the wireless information that are being provisioned in the entire environment. So if you go to the wireless network, and if you were to go to Wi-Fi or wireless network connection, you can see many of this access point being provisioned because of the five access point that you see over here. So I have free wireless. So whoever connects to free wireless, I'll be able to get information about that particular machine. And on the left side, we have configurations. So we allow associations from the client device into machine. And of course we have Pine access point daemon. So again, like I mentioned, Pine AP is a Linux variant and we are able to conv configure daemon on it. We're able to broadcast SSID. There are many settings that we can change just like any Linux distributions that you, you have that you have worked with before. So we save the AP settings, we save the pool location so that it's updated constantly, and of course the beacon response interval and SSID pool. So what's really what's really cool about this is that we are gonna connect uh, one of my client devices into the into the network environment. So once this is connected, we'll be able to see a client device on the dashboarding information. So when I go to dashboard, for example, I can see now that we have one client connected and then we can click further in into it. And then we see that I'm using a Huawei client device, P10, that is actually accessing into the network environment. So of course we have to get further than this. So one of the really cool items within Pineapple AP is that you can actually go into the conf configuration tab uh, yes, so in the configuration tab, we have a what we call it the landing page. So in the landing page, what it does is that it can actually provision the web browser. So whoever is authenticating into free wireless access into any of my SSID, they will have to access this landing page first before they are able to access into any other uh, websites or any other internet connectivity that you, they want to access via the access point. So again, if you remember from the other tutorials, we can actually plug in JavaScript from a browser exploitation framework. So the moment they access into our wireless access point, we'll be able to have complete control over the browser. We're able to inject usernames and passwords. We are able to redirect the entire web page to malicious sites and the like. So if you're running Kali Linux in your environment, uh, which can be easily started up, then you can actually redirect them into your Kali Linux homepage, which can then serve some kind of exploit for Java, for Chrome, for Firefox, or whichever. So going back to dashboard, you know, we, we see the client connection is coming from a Chrome uh, browser. So if you know of any vulnerability in Chrome, and then you can serve it on Kali Linux. So that will be shared on the next tutorial. So there you're seeing the baseline capability of Pineapple AP, which is a access point for you to perform wireless penetration testing in the entire environment. So there are many different other techniques that you can deploy as part of the wireless penetration. So number one, you can power up the Pineapple AP using Android devices. And from there, you can control, maneuver the management console so that you can then be able to perform your subsequent wireless attacks in the environment. And then of course, number two, there are many other different techniques that you can further in the advancement of wireless access point penetration. You can boot up a Kali Linux where all the traffic from the Pineapple AP is then redirected to Kali Linux for, for monitoring of traffic, trying to sniff out different packets, trying to get usernames and passwords as well, or trying to inject frames into the environment. And of course, you can also inject Java payload. Uh, when you remember you saw the landing pages on wireless AP, you can actually inject different kind of vulnerabilities. It could be your Chrome, it could be your Java, it could be your Firefox, and so many different vulnerabilities. As long as you run your Kali Linux Metapreter shell, from there you'll be able to push those authentication or exploitation to gain access into client devices, which I will share on subsequent tutorials. So with that, we have come to the end of the discussion today, and I hope you learned something valuable and useful. So if you like what you just watched, uh, feel free to subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and thank you for watching.